Let's start shooting in the mall. What could possibly go wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I just ended up recording an hour of footage without actually having my microphone turned on. So, you know, good stuff. Uh, what we've done is we went to the nearby uh, places. Two days have gone by, uh, which is the place we, we looted some of that. We got a bunch of books. We have carpentry for beginners and intermediates. As you can see, we have found this car, which is in pretty, pretty decent shape as well. Uh, we also found mechanics for intermediates, which I have by now read, so we have that bonus going on. We killed a couple of zombies, nothing too major, but now we are on a new mission. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to where we went, I think last episode now, uh, where we got all of those uh, car tools, right? Before that, there was a smaller mall, and that place has a bookstore. What I'm looking for is to find that magazine that's gonna allow us to work on heavy duty cars. We have now found a magazine for the sports cars as well, but not the heavy duty. So we still have lots of work to do, so let's go get it. All right, this is gonna be it. This place out here on the left, it does seem like there is some zombies and I'm guessing there's gonna be more inside. We have a couple of uh, shots still left on our gun. Actually, these guys don't seem to care. This is the mall. <laughs> we need to make our way in it and probably gonna have some fun with the zombies inside. All right, let's open the doors for them. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need to start clearing some of these dudes out. It's time to bring out the shotgun and everybody around here is gonna hear us shoot now. Oh yeah, those guys are starting to bang. They're gonna probably break all the glass windows. Maybe I should be using melee weapons for just a couple of these dudes. Oh yeah, we have a couple more incoming there. Let's wait for them to squat up together. If you can get a couple of shots, that's good. Can I hit you all three? Decently. I'll take that and start reloading. I didn't quite check how many bullets we have, but it's like we have around 50 left, so really not that much. Really not enough to be playing with a mall right now. Alas, that's fine. Let's, let's switch over here. Panic is setting in, so maybe beta blocker time. I just want to group them up in a way that I can shoot multiples. There you go. That's, that's always for the best. More of them breaking through. Let them come, I say. Come on, boys. We got this. You, I'm gonna just step on your head, because in reality, don't want to use my bullets too much. All right, we have a couple more coming. What is that? Is that a pipe? That's just a pipe. Uh, at least I'm guessing it's just a pipe, right? It's a lead pipe, yeah. All right, we have a bit of murder going on out here. Couple of uh, corpses. Lady, let's do this. Oh, that was an unfortunate uh, whiff. That's fine. But I'm ready to start getting in here. If you guys want to join me, that's fine. Let's keep some doors open. So these guys have a free passageway. Or should I say that I have a free passageway? This is a stupid way to position ourselves. Especially when we have three. And we probably have more. Oh yes, we have more. Yeah, unfortunate way to position ourselves. Let's start shooting in the mall. What could possibly go wrong? This is not a big mall, though. This is a smaller mall, but still. I see quite a few of them creeping behind me over there. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's, uh, let's open some doors over here. If they can come outside, it might be, uh, might be for the best. Or, you know, if we shoot from here, this is also decent. They're all nicely positioned together, so we can have some good shots. Oh yeah, there's more coming. Don't panic, buddy. Just don't panic. Just keep on shooting and you're good. How are we looking outside? Decent. I hear more banging. Oh yeah, there's more. There's definitely more over here, but luckily for us, they got stuck on some, some stuff. Some windows. All right. Even more incoming. Okay, back off and reload. Just back off and reload. We got this. 
We're probably not gonna have this very soon when we run out of bullets. Yeah, don't, don't, don't miss like that. 20 shells. Not very good. But better than nothing, boys. Maybe we can clear them out in time. Okay, I'm gonna go out now. Let's go out. Let's switch to melee for you. Save the bullets. We can save the bullets. That's the important part. Beware the shopping dead. Uh, you ladies keep banging there. I'm not opening that door for you. How about that? How about one of you? There you go. No, I said one. You guys don't listen. See, if you learn to listen, you probably wouldn't be zombies right now. Well, this looks uh, cleaner now. We have some digital watches to disassemble. Still zombies around. I switched to crowbar if you can... You know, if you start smashing things, we will be a bit quieter than a gun. Although, you know, it shows that we have a suppressor. It really does show. Now, I think the bookstore is down this way, so... Let's go down the, uh, the hallway and let's see if you can get past all these Zeds. Just stay on the ground, boys. I think that was the police officer, maybe. Alright, that's, that's a decent amount of them cleared over here. Yeah, that was a police officer. We do need the magazine, we don't need a pistol. We'll take the rest. That's a lady with a proper axe in her back. Oh, I like that. I like that big time. We don't have an actual axe, so this is gonna be very useful. Also, the way I just positioned myself is a death sentence. Don't, don't do it that way. Because you, you've seen I positioned myself such a way that I didn't see what is behind the corner. Easy way to get hit from behind and killed that way. You don't wanna be position like that just so you know that axe is also pretty decent quality i like it well, we have hand axe over there this store looks like it's got tools and such that would be very useful as well to have not gonna lie we'll see if we got uh, the chance we're gonna loot this place as well it doesn't seem to be that many zombies i mean we killed what maybe a hundred over here if that sure we didn't kill them all but this is only like Oh, okay, we have incoming from the other side as well. This is a small mall, so... Not the, the big scary ones. This is some kind of a tailoring store over here. I've seen they had yarn, they have sweaters and such. I want to see if they have maybe some needles that we could grab. Because eventually we'll want to do tailoring as well, right? Most of this is empty, unfortunately. Oh, they have threads. That's good. I don't know if yarn works the same way as a thread does when it comes to fixing your equipment. So if it does, let me know, please. Where did that many of you come from again? Oh, Jesus. All right, we have we have a training coming once again. Looks like these guys either broke through or were part of this mall before. I don't know where they're coming from, but scary stuff. I don't want to be back in too far in this direction because we know there's zombies in that direction as well. We did lose some on the window, so that's good for us. What's our skill with Long Blunt? Only two, yet still, he's hitting pretty nicely. You know, having strong trait definitely helps out here. Oh, there we go. Found a needle. Found some more thread. I don't know if you need knitting needles, though. Though I think those are different. We do have a nice sweater over here. Maybe you can wear it? What are we wearing otherwise? Diamond pattern sweater, which is kind of crappy. We'll leave it behind. I think that right there is our bookstore. We do have still some in the hallway, and I've definitely heard through the walls there's a couple out there in that bookstore, so... We're gonna have to deal with all of that, and then we can do some easy looting. Whoa, what is that on your back, lady? What is that on your back? Okay, we have... More incoming. I definitely want to know what that is. It's a shotgun. Wow. It's a cool looking shotgun. And it does have some ammo in it. Which is great. Uh, I probably should unload it so we can use it. Alright, that's the bookstore. We still have more incoming from this side. Stop it. Lady, don't you know that you should be quiet in our library? I know this is not a library, it's a bookstore. But still, same rule applies, okay? Stay quiet. How to use generators. 
Oh, look at that. I think we already have tailoring for uh, beginners. I think we already do. Anglers make fishing net. Okay, well, we'll try to do that. There's more books in here that we could ever read. Alas, we did not get the magazine that I wanted, which was the one to fix cars. We also should be going home by now. There's more zombies incoming in here and it's getting late. So might be time to get the hell out. I did want to look quickly at this tool store just to see if there's anything good that we could grab. Oh, that's another proper axe. Oh, let's go. I can't say no to that. Like, I literally cannot say no to that. All right, you know what? We have more zombies incoming. It's getting real dark in here. It's gonna be 8 p.m. soon. Time to get out. I can come back and loot this next time. Let's go get to our car and let's go home. We can come back here at some other point. One day, we can get all the tools. We can get even more books. I've gotten some really good books out of this. We have gotten all kinds of good stuff that our slow reader guy is gonna take probably weeks and months to read. But you know, we can pick and choose what we want to read if we want to read it. So we're good. Uh, also, there's one thing that we have found uh, in that recording that I've lost because there's recording for like one hour and then realize, hey, maybe I should turn on my microphone. That sounds like a great idea. We have found a VHS tape. One, only one, and I think it's on fishing. We made it home, boys. We got some good loot and we used most of our shotgun ammo. Which is sad, but we did get a new shotgun, so there's that. How about I turn off the lights, maybe? That sounds like a great idea. Okay, I mean, any zombies around here? Doesn't look like it. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna turn on the generator. I wanna see if I can watch that VHS uh, tape in the evening. Why not? Also, let's check the trap. We've been just gaining uh, bait fish out of this. Nothing special. Nope, nothing today. Alright, fair enough. Oh wow, it's bright out here! Look at this! Oh, that's cool. I guess it should turn off some of these lights, because every time we turn on the generator, it's gonna be using a lot of fuel to keep on all these lights. All right, let's do this. Let's play the VHS tape. Oh, maybe I should turn on the TV first. Let's keep it like this. And let's start playing. And as we watch, you can enjoy a nice beer bottle. Exposure, exposure survival. Good, boredom going down. Let's see, this should be uh, for fishing, I think. It's the one. Ah, there we go. Fishing's going up. Look at that. Level one, boys. Good. Can we get some more? Okay. Learn making fishing rod. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I did not know that you can learn that from uh, uh, a VHS tape, actually. All right. Until next time. We got level and a half of fishing there. I'd say that's pretty decent. Now, I'm pretty sure we can we can never watch this uh, again. I know on multiplayer servers, yes, I've heard of the exploit that uh, Spiff has done. I, I know of that. But even before that, on the multiplayer server I was playing on, you could actually watch the same tape if there was, I think, like 48 in-game hours gone by. You could actually watch it again. That was uh, how it worked on that multiplayer server. I don't know if it's... The same otherwise. Oh, Jesus. All my bottles are empty. We're gonna need to do some refills. Look at our book selection over here. You'll love to see it, boys. We're gonna be we're gonna be reading like bosses soon. The man actually slept till 12. I didn't I didn't turn on the alarm. I was like, yeah, let him sleep. It's fine. He's, he was very tired. He slept till 12. <laughs> what a man, what a myth, what a legend. Alright, let's actually go um, do some stuff today. We're not gonna go out on adventure because it's it's already too late so we're gonna stay around also why am i carrying welding rods in my inventory that seems like a terrible idea we're gonna actually grab the axe for uh for today we're gonna go maybe chop some trees or something like that uh just to barricade some of these uh, uh windows back here that might be a good idea uh we do want to read the book first though so maybe i'm not gonna be barricading maybe i'm just gonna chop some of them down it's it's not that Cold, actually. This winter has not been that bad. The forest man is here. <laughs> the forest man. I don't know why I said the forest man. He's a lumberjack. 
Let's start chopping down some trees. He is strong, so chopping down trees shouldn't be that big of a problem for him. Right? I took off some of our gear, so he's not gonna be this hot uh, while he chops, because it's it's only just minus three, so it's not it's not that bad. Alright, that's that's quite a few trees. He's getting exerted, so I'm gonna stop right now. Who knows, maybe there's a zombie walking nearby that could get to us while we're exerted. And that wouldn't be fun, now would it? Nope. That wouldn't be fun at all. So we're gonna go back inside. Maybe we could do some mechanics today, or I could go read the carpentry book and then start leveling up. I really want to get carpentry to like level 3, so we can uh, start actually making some containers where I can store everything, because right now we have everything just <laughs> lying around, kind of. I would like to have somewhere to store stuff. Spend the whole day actually reading Carpentry for Beginners. And it should be done about now. You'll love to see it. Alright. He's, he's hungry for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go eat something. We have... Candy. Perfect. Alright, today the man has awoken uh, quite on time. So we're gonna go on a bit longer adventure. Quite further out into the city. Like we haven't uh, been in a while. And the main reason why we're doing that is because I want to go check a store that has VHS tapes. And I want to see if we can get some good stuff out of this, right? If we can get some more good VHS tapes, it's going to be easier for us to uh, level up our skills, you know? Without actually having to work on our skills. So that's what we're going to do. It's pretty chilly, minus 9 degrees. We are 19th of December now. The man has survived for 17 days, killed... 690 zombies, mostly with crowbar. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot more on the highway up here. Oh, a lot more. <laughs> All right, well... Don't hit the tree, dude! Don't hit the tree! Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, man, come on. Why did I never put this on? Excuse me? Oh, I'm a silly billy. I'm a silly billy. I actually just put it in here instead of wearing it. That's that's a smart man. Smart man right there. This is the cemetery, which is where you can get gold. We got gold in our multiplayer. If you haven't seen that video, check out my video. It's called something like we found gold in and something like that in Project Zomboid. Maybe something like that. Anyway, we're getting closer. I think this out here is going to be the place. I think this is the right way to go. I've only been here once I think so remembering where to find it did we pass it no I think it's up here actually yeah I think this is the place right there okay this is gonna probably hurt it's gonna be time for beta blockers as well um let's switch to the gun yeah let's switch to he's already panicking god damn it I should have pre-taken the pills really that would have been the smart way to do it. Alright, let's start blasting. Let's start blasting the fools. Let's go, boys. Hopefully the silencer is gonna work in such a way that we're not gonna pull half of the city. Because for half of a city, we do not have enough ammo. It's just the unfortunate way it is. Take him out. Come on, you two. Lining up perfectly for me. It's good. We have a couple down there, a couple behind a big fence. It seems we're safe-ish. That lady is interested in our car. But that's about it. Good. No alarm, please. No alarm. Good. All right. Let's see what we can find in here. The danger near bed. Not the one we want. Fitness club? I think this might help. The cook show? All right. We're taking that. More fitness club. This magical woodland. I don't think there's... It's, it's just like cartoons or something like that. The moderator. I don't know what that is. More cook show, that's good. Forging stuff, okay. We're getting some decent ones. Especially for, for cooking. The crying of the foxes. Does it teach you what does the fox say? I wish so. And yeah, that's not gonna be it. Do you think there's any in here? No. Oh, they have more stored back here. Exposure survival. Do we have that one? Then we have episode 7. Good, good. Alright, we got... Quite a few ones. I'm not sure exactly how the fitness ones work. But we got we got some. Now we can go uh, take a look at what else we have out here. It was like an electronic store. 
That's food place. The electronic store might have some useful stuff we could disassemble. It's another place with plenty of alcohol in here. If I find bourbon, I'm gonna take bourbon. The rest, not so much. I think there's the uh, uh, emergency broadcast uh, over there. I didn't quite see what it said, but I think it was mentioning some rain. So we might get rain and or snow. Sounds like we have some friends back here. Not quite here. Oh, you're in the toilet? Is that how it is? No, that's not a toilet. That is the office. Is this the red room back here? I wonder if this is the red room. We have a bunch of like film cameras around here. Unfortunately, I can't disassemble any of these like hide-end cameras and cameras, all that stuff. I was hoping it would uh, give me some... Uh, XP for electronics if I did that, but there doesn't seem to be a way to do that, so it's a bit unfortunate. Hey, we found pickles. You love to see it. Give me more pickles. Everything else is rotten. Hey, this thing has 85% hood. We don't have a wrench. I wanted to uninstall this and bring it back home. Well, next time bring a wrench, dude. Oh boy, oh boy, the roads are full and that's a backpack on that zombie. Good thing we don't need a backpack anymore. The roads out here are way more full than the, the ones we have down there. You know, we are living on the edge of the city, so it definitely shows. And there's that tall fence next to the road there, next to the highway. So the zombies can't as easily get to us there. So we are in relative safety while these roads up here are still quite nicely occupied. We have a lot of zombies still to deal with if we are to clear the whole Louisville. All right, we made it back home. We do have one Woodcraft VHS, which is the one that should uh, should teach us more about carpentry. And since we did read the carpentry book, I'm uh, starting to think maybe it would be a good idea to turn this bad boy on and watch that one uh, VHS. Maybe level us up to like level two carpentry. That'd be a good idea. Although I'm starting to think, you know, maybe I really should be reading these uh, or watching these tapes later on when we have like when we need to get to like level seven or something like that although for carpentry really we just need level six so we are we are able to make stairs that's really all we're gonna ever need let's play let's begin this one we have the woodcraft and let's start learning let's go level one right there you love to see it oh i didn't realize we were almost like level one cooking as well I'm guessing from cooking all those fishies that we got out there. That's decent. Come on, let's give me some more XP. Let's get to level 2. That would be that would be the best. If we could get to level 2, that'd be great. We don't have any bonus uh, bonus um, XP for any of our skills, of course. We didn't start with any of that. So, we're not we're not getting as much as you could, you know, let's say if you start as a carpenter, you would be getting a lot more XP because I think that's like 125% extra. So that's crazy. But one more tick would bring us to level two. Come on. Come on. Please. Chairs. Oh, next one is chairs. So that's that's done. Well, we almost got to level two. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Time for some carpentry stuff. Let's start sawing the logs. We are actually gonna get some XP from sewing these. Let's see, 113, 115, look at that. We are almost up to level two, actually. I'm just gonna grab some of these. I'm gonna start barricading the windows that have been broken through. Actually, probably just gonna put a uh, plank on every of these windows. We're not gonna get much XP for these, but you know, maybe just two planks in every window out here so they can't as easily get in here as they otherwise would. This one could actually level us up to Carpenter 2. No, not quite yet. Next one, then. Next one is gonna be the one. Ladies and gentlemen, Carpentry level 2. Wait, why are we still showing that? Maybe because we watched the VHS tape and maybe we get a bonus out of it or something? Alright, so this is the backside decently barricaded. That should at least stop the zombies from, you know, getting directly through. We do have, what? two, four, six, seven windows on that side as well that I would like to barricade as well. It's, it's not really that huge of a priority, but you know, if we can, why not? All right, this side has been barricaded as well, which is great. What are we gonna do next is I wanted to actually put log walls on those two tiles. We're gonna move these two away. 
and then we're gonna drop in some uh, just some actually I wonder if you can just put the log walls in front I'm gonna I'm gonna check that all right let's try this we can actually put it over here okay that is decent perfect I'm gonna I'm gonna put one more over there so if they break through the wall they still have those up front it's getting pretty dark out here so let's finish this and maybe go inside where it's nice and warm but yeah this over here should now at least prevent zeds from going through on this side which i like we have a bit more protection so anything that comes to us can in reality only come from the front where we have our cars parked and that is the area that we can see right from the start when we wake up get out of the room we get to see this easily so we could of course put some more log walls around here if you wanted to uh, but for now i think we're just fine oh our fish trap broke that's a shame can you actually fix it you can get wire back that's about it well it did provide us with some stuff but level two car carpentry we can now start trying to bring in some of these wooden counters of course if they don't break they still have a 60 percent chance to break please don't break we got them actually oh that's great these are 50 kilo storage so much better than these small things so we'll have to we'll be able to have some storage in here I'll just put this bad boy in the corner maybe get rid of that thing and bring another one over here ah shit we broke this one over here never mind there's still plenty around to be picked up hey we got this one nice all right perfection let's go place it all right there you go we're gonna have two of these nice wooden counters over here which means we're gonna have a hundred extra storage capacity over here in our little room i like that a lot so good for us now it's gonna be slowly time to go to sleep you might not see max but max can see you he's drinking white wine right now just enjoying it before the night and he's gonna go to bed now and he's gonna sleep thank you everybody for watching tomorrow we have a new mission let's go